Today I'm going to talk about a business problem that one of our clients was facing in Middle East, a very large retailer. Typically we're seeing around 35 to 40 percent downtime outages because of uh, either the functions not working, not being tested properly, or the code that has been deployed into the production was not uh, compatible to the functions that were already existing. And when we did the analysis, what we found that there did not exist a testing process. They were directly deploying from the development team, doing some basic level of unit testing, deploying directly onto the production boxes. And the release processes were also semi-automated. It was scripts were there, but at the end of the day, they were trying to also involve lot many stakeholders like dev teams, the release teams, the test teams to do the work and uh, bring out the releases. Now, this all when we analyze, we realize that we should be looking at a solution which is more holistic. As a solution, what we did is we took CA Pathfinder, installed that tool under the production environment, leveraged this tool to listen to all the transactions that are happening by end users into the production, and leverage the flexibility of virtualizing the business processes to create virtual images and then have it deployed onto a VSC. Now, VSC is a separate box, isolated box on which all these models have been deployed and then these models then act as a images of those transactions which can be leveraged by the development team or the testers to execute their business processes and see whether they are functioning fine or not. Now, the question also came that the client was doing quite a frequent upgrades to their systems for which we leveraged the XML, the business, the design docs that typically are given to a development team to code, which is what the service virtualization team took and created virtual images, enhanced the business processes and then redeployed into the virtual sub environment and even before the code was ready, the actual code was ready, we were able to create the test images for the team to start executing those functions. That brought in the complete lift principle and very early automation into the development life cycle. To address the second problem of release processes becoming more manual, effort driven and yet not giving the value of deployments and leading to a bit of rollbacks. What we did is we brought in the Nodia toolset from CA Technologies that helped defining the workflow and not only we were able to promote the code from development to production, but we were able to move the code in an automated process first to the virtual service environments and then based on the approvals which were auto triggered, automated through the triggering systems in the Nodia toolset, we were able to create the very stable production. By integrating these solutions, we were able to bring in around 95% of defect containment, 98% uh, of system uptime, which was earlier somewhere around 35 to 40%. Uh, the services availability typically on to the from the external systems that were there, we were able to bring it to around 99% because all those services were recorded and put onto the virtual service environment. And we were now able, we are now able to support around 15 to 17 releases a year as the case uh, six to seven services a year. Coming from the cost model perspective, the client did had a challenge on to creating the budgets and uh, do an upfront engagement. To overcome the budget challenges that uh, client was facing, TechMinder provided a platform as a service that we partner with the CA Technologies to bundle the entire solution, bring it in a pay-as-you-go model.